Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to be using recursion to create a countdown. Uh, continuing from the previous challenge, we provide you a yet another opportunity to create a recursive function to solve a problem. We have defined a function called countdown with two parameters. The function should take an array in the myArray parameter and append the numbers n through 1 based on the nth parameter. For example, calling the function with n equals 5, this will pad the array with the numbers 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The function must use recursion by calling itself and must not use loops of any kind. Now this one was actually quite tricky, but uh, first off we need to create a base case. So if n is less than or equal to 0, then we want to say we're just going to do an implicit return, which just means we're going to cause the function to end. And then we want to make an else statement, which says, um, first off we want to attach to my array, we want to push in the value of n, and then we want to call the function again so that we get the recursive situation. So we want to go count down my array, and then n minus 1. And this should give us what we need. Okay, let's talk about what's going on here. Um, let's say now my array, let's make it an empty array. Let's assume it's an empty array. Let's say n is equal to 3. So first off, we'd come in here and we'd say n uh, 3 is less than or equal to 0. That's not true. So we skip to the else statement. And so then we take my array, which is this empty array that we passed in, and we add on the number 3. And then we call countdown. And then what, what that does is this goes through again, but now we're doing it with my array, and then uh, 3 minus 1, which is 2. And so then we come back up through here. We're still at uh, this point. We haven't finished the, oh no, we still, we're, we're, we're past this. This was called. Okay, so then we've got the my array is now equal to an array with the number 3 in it. And n is equal to 2. So n is less than or equal to 0. This is false. So we don't do that. We go to the else. And then my array we push the value of n onto there. So now we have an array with the numbers uh, 3 and 2. I'm just doing this for uh, demonstration purposes. And now our n, uh, now that we've pushed 2 onto here, we're going to do countdown with my array, which is 3 and 2, and then n is equal to 2 minus 1. So n becomes equal to 1. And then because n is equal to 1, Uh, we just return. And somehow that causes it so that n becomes at the beginning. Um, I think if we were to console.log, count down my array, and we set my array equal to an empty. Oh, you know what? This doesn't even. We have to run the tests. It's not even coming out correctly. Uh, this is kind of a wacky one. I'm not really sure exactly why, it, why we do it this way, but um, recursion is supposedly useful. I haven't used it a lot in my actual uh, coding experience, but I think understanding it is useful uh, when you're learning. And so there's some, probably some other tests, but this is basically the way that you can do this one. Uh, we run the test and we see they pass. Okay, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next lesson.